we all want our cats to be healthy, right? And so therefore, you should know that there are some human foods that cannot be fed to cats. And uh, these food can be dangerous or even toxic. And so for today, we're going to look at what human food are potentially dangerous or even toxic to your cats. So this is Sir Nikolai and we're going to learn something new today. One of the most important lessons that you will have as a pet owner, especially for cats, is that as much as possible, you don't want to visit the vet because of a potential problem. And so one of the usual reasons why people go to the vet is because their cat or their pet ate something bad that's not meant for them. And so it's very important that you guys should know that there are actually some food that are considered dangerous or toxic to pets and therefore should not be fed to them. Okay, the first of this list is alcohol. And obviously it is weird, uh, you know, why should we even, uh, you know, feed our pets alcohol? Well, you know, some uh, drinks, uh, you might not see alcohol right away. And so therefore, uh, you have to avoid, uh, you know, accidentally giving to them. And so these are actually some of the effects of alcohol on cats. So effects could include vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, tremors, decreased coordination, trouble breathing, and coma. Okay? And let me just uh, also add something here. If uh, just in case you accidentally feed raw dough, for uh, your cats, uh, raw dough, when consumed by cats, alcohol is created in the stomach. And so therefore, um, the alcohol effects will happen if you do that. So again, uh, what you should do is that uh, you should not uh, you know, feed your cats any alcoholic content. Okay, number two is uh, chocolates and caffeine. So for chocolates and caffeine, uh, the problem with the uh, chocolates and caffeine is that they contain this substance called methylxanthines. And methylxanthines uh, would uh, have the following effects on your cat. Vomiting, diarrhea, high body temperature, muscle tremor, abnormal heart rhythm, abdominal discomfort, increased thirst, and seizures avoid uh, feeding anything that contains chocolate or uh, caffeinated drinks like uh, you know uh, coffee or like uh, soft drinks never ever feed those to your cats number three it might strike some people that dog food is among the uh, food that's considered dangerous for your cats so let me just explain this Technically speaking, dog food is not immediately toxic to cats, but uh, it's dangerous because if you just feed your cats just dog food, there will be some nutrients that your cats will be missing on. And uh, dog food does not have uh, a lot of these nutrients. So what nutrients am I talking about? Uh, so you have taurine, vitamin A, and arachidonic acid and protein. And of these, taurine is essential because if your cats uh, don't have a lot of taurine, the cat can develop uh, some heart disease and develop some vision and dental issues. So therefore, cat food, not dog food. Okay, so be careful when you're cooking because uh, if 
some garlic or onion uh, would fall on the floor, I hope that your cat would not uh, get to bite them or consume them because uh, garlic, onions, or any products that have garlic and onions such as a uh, you know, soup mix or garlic powder, these are not good for your cats. And these are the things that could happen to them. So there might be some damage to a cat's red blood cells and therefore that will lead to anemia. And it's even poisonous actually if uh, you know uh, garlic and onions or uh, any form of this are consumed in large quantities. So be careful when you cook. So grapes and raisins, uh, from what I heard, also toxic to dogs, like uh, chocolates also. Uh, grapes and raisins have the following effect if consumed by cats. Kidney failure, vomiting, diarrhea, reduced appetite, abdominal pain, and decreased urination. Okay, number six might confuse some people because as you all know, uh, when the kittens are young, they would drink milk uh, from their mother cats. Or sometimes we would you know, provide them actually milk for them when they were young ourselves. Uh, but actually, uh, cats are generally lactose intolerant. And just in case uh, you're not yet familiar with the term lactose, lactose is actually a type of sugar that is found in milk. And so the problem is that if uh, if uh, the cat is uh, lactose intolerant, the cat cannot digest it pro uh, properly. And so lactose will just stay in the stomach and will cause bacteria. And so that will cause stomach cramps, uh, digestive issues, and diarrhea for your cats. So milk and any kind of dairy products ideally should not be given to your cats. Okay, by now you probably have heard of uh, people who feed raw food to their cats. Uh, from my personal experience of this, I feel that it is okay if your cats are adults, not kittens, and if you actually freeze your raw meat uh, before serving it to them. So what people would do is that they would have the raw meat, and then uh, you know, put it on the freezer, and then the following day, uh, you can actually just uh, thaw the raw food, you know, frozen. Uh, the, the reason why uh, it has to be fro uh, the reason why it has to be frozen first you know, for feeding raw uh, uh, food is because salmonella and E. coli uh, bacteria can actually prol proliferate in the raw meat. And so ideally you should uh, kill the bacteria by freezing. And so that's one of the dangers of feeding raw meat to your cats. So uh, your cats might vomit, might have diarrhea, and might be very sleepy, so they become, might become lethargic. And if you feed them raw eggs, the problem with raw eggs is that uh, that can lead to some skin and coat problems. Okay. And finally, um, for raw bones, like uh, really big or like brittle bones, uh, that can choke your cat uh, and uh, can injure uh, his or her digestive tract. And worse, the teeth might get damaged if you have raw bones in your cat food. So never, um, just to be safe, I always tell people, you know, instead of feeding raw uh, meat, uh, raw bones, raw eggs, just cook. Just cook or boil them and it should be fine. Okay, and the last uh, type of food that is dangerous or toxic to your cats, uh, this is actually a lot because uh, these are what we call xylitol products. So what is xylitol? Um, it's a sugar substitute and you find it in so many products, okay? So let's list them down. So you can find xylitol in gums, candies, toothpaste, drink powder, pudding, baked items, pancake syrup, ketchup, barbecue sauce, and even medicines. And so therefore, be careful uh, with these products because uh, Xylitol um, actually could eliminate the levels of insulin in the bloodstream. Therefore, that would cause hypoglycemia in your cats. And with that, the sugar level of your cats uh, will be very low in their blood. So effects, weakness, vomiting, seizures, and coma. And so therefore, please uh, uh, take note of products with Xylitol. 
never ever feed your cats with them. Okay, so let's now talk about how to avoid accidentally feeding them bees. Okay, so the first tip I can give is very simple. Uh, make sure that your stock of products, uh, uh, food, should be in places that are locked uh, from your cats. So if possible, it should be high places or like uh, you know, in cabinets in your kitchen where your cats will not be able to access them. So that's one. The second is, uh, it's very simple, never feed your cats uh, table scraps. So anything that, you know, that's on your uh, uh, dinner table should never be fed to cats. So to be honest, uh, cats should just be eating cat food. And so, do not think that uh, your body, human body, would have the same needs as your cats. I, I feel it's one of the wrong uh, things to do. So if you feel that your cat uh, you know, is like you, like let's say you're a vegetarian, and then you would feel like you would want your cats to be vegetarian, that is actually really wrong because cats need meat in order for them to become healthier. And so ideally, never ever feed the uh, your cat's, uh, you know, human food that you think would be healthy for you. What is healthy for you might not be healthy for them. Okay, and finally, last one is uh, maybe just be careful when you have gatherings like a party and there's food around. Uh, make sure that you tell your guests never ever feed your cats with uh, random things. Um, so that, uh, you know, just so to be safe that your cats will not eat anything strange. Okay, so let's discuss one last thing. Um, what if your cat accidentally ate one of those uh, toxic or dangerous food? Obviously, the first thing you have to do is to go to the vet. So take your cat, go to the vet, and then there will be some procedures that your vet will do. I do not believe in, uh, you know, a first aid um, when it comes to cat being poisoned or being, uh, you know, having eaten something uh, different. The best thing to do would be you go immediately to the vet, take your cat, and then um, don't rely on chances, don't rely on home remedies, go to the vet immediately. And so that's it. Uh, thank you so much. I hope you learned something today. And again, maybe just feed your cat healthy cat food. Um, those of you who have been following my channel, I have a video about uh, how to home cook uh, cat food. You might want to look into that. And then the other one is that you might want also to look into another video uh, where I reviewed cat food that you can buy from Lazada Philippines that will be good for your cats also. Okay, so this is Sir Nikolai and again thank you so much for supporting my channel and uh, please subscribe and then I hope that uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, watch a few more of my videos. Till next time.